Yo, big facts. What's up, everybody? Congratulations to Ryan Garcia, man. Wow, bro. This fight was crazy. Ross, Ryan Garcia versus Oscar Durate. Congratulations to Ryan Garcia for his knockout. In the... What round did he knock him out in? The, what is it? The eighth? I think it was the eighth round. Let 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 me hello. Let me see. Let me. What round did he knock this man out in, bro? Yes, sir. Yeah, Ryan Garcia knocked this dude out. And and you know what? It looks similar to how Ryan got knocked out. That's the crazy part about it. The dude didn't get up to the ninth count. It's the same way Ryan didn't get up. Damn near, damn near the same way Ryan didn't get up after the after the Javante Davis fight. That what that's what was crazy about it. And uh, eighth round. Okay, he knocked him out. Yeah, like I said, eighth round. You know, but uh. Good fight, man. This was the do or die fight for Ryan Garcia, man. And I felt like if Ryan didn't win this fight, he would have quit boxing, man. He would have took some time off. He would have announced he's quitting. He would have just stopped boxing, man. If he would have lost to this guy, he would have. He would have said, "Damn." He would have said, "Man, this 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 shit ain't for me. I'm out. I quit." I'm going to take some time off, think about some things. Yeah, he would have said that, man. You could see the intensity on his face, the tense on, tenseness on his face, man, out this whole week. This was a do-or-die fight for this man, man. It was a do-or-die fight, and I felt for him, man. I was rooting for him, and I'm not even a Ryan Garcia fan, but I was rooting for Ryan. I was praying for Ryan to win this fight. Because Ryan is a good dude, man. I can see it on him. He a good dude. And he deserved his win. He deserved it. You know, he had a lot of, got a lot of opposition against him. Uh, he having some issues with his his promotion team, uh, De La Hoya and uh, Bernard Hopkins. He got issues with them, you know, that need to be worked out. And he just don't seem happy. He seemed like a miserable guy. You, you, you uh, and at the end of the, and he's been hollering Jesus Christ all this week, promoting Jesus Christ. And uh, after the fight, he did the same thing, promoted Jesus Christ. He still got that same look on his face, man. It's it's like a, a look of depression. But maybe this is a a little light. Maybe winning this fight. Hopefully, he can cheer him up a bit and bring some light in his life. Because this is not a man that got $30 million. This is not a man that, uh, you know, they claim he won. I mean, he, he he got $30 million from the tank fight. Well, he didn't take $30 million home. Not with that look of depression on his face. He, didn't take, he did not take $30 million home. He might have took $2 million home, maybe $5 million, but he didn't take $30 million. He didn't put thirty million in the bank, y'all. I, I, I'll bet the house on that. You know, he might have made thirty million, but he ain't take home thirty million. You know, but yeah, man, the fight Ron started off. You know, care the whole fight Ron was, was fighting not to get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? He was fighting for survival, pretty much. Durante was strong as a bull, coming in like a bull. Think about Durante, he wasn't throwing as many punches as he could have. But he was coming in like a bull, strong as a bull. Uh, Ryan, Ryan was boxing him. You know, Ryan was doing his boxing, th boxing him all the way up to the, what, fifth round. After the fifth round, Ryan started fighting him in the pocket. But I'll get to that. 
So Ron started off boxing, moving, jabbing, moving, boxing. Durante, nothing uh, Ron throw kept Durante, moved Durante back. You know what I'm saying? Durante was moving forward through the whole fight pretty much. Like eating Ron's punches. And Ron was boxing. Now Ron was throwing some good power punches. Ron was tagging them. You know what I'm saying? And then after the sixth, and then after the fifth, I think they went into the pocket, and Ron was using that weird ass. He was using that Mayweather shoulder roll, but it looked weird because Ron was turning his whole back. You know what I'm saying? He was getting hit on the back, and the referee was was warning Dorante not to hit him on the back. Well, Ron was turning his damn back. That's why he was getting hit on the back. You know. And I thought that was like a survival survival mechanism so he wouldn't get hurt you know that was a survival mechanism so he wouldn't get hurt into the body because the way Ron was turning like it was, it was turning for survival like he didn't want to get hit nowhere near the you know what I'm saying nowhere where uh, Javante knocked him out at he didn't want to that much, that's his weak spot so he did not he shelled up not to get hit in that spot you know, and the referee, uh, he had he had favor with the referee in this fight, man. You know, because the referee was not getting on him about that. So, he had favor with the referee. <laughs> uh, but and it was awkward as hell. You know, it looked it looked it looked crazy. And and Ryan start started to look like he was worn. You know, around the six, the seven. Around the fifth, sixth, and seven, Ryan looked like he was gonna get knocked out. He, he looked, he looked worn. After that fifth round, Ryan stayed in. I mean, when that fifth round, Ryan stayed in the pocket. He wasn't moving as much. He was going back and forth with him, uh, with Durante. You know, but Durante seemed stink, still seemed stronger. And then around the six. Ryan stopped throwing punches. He just started running around the ring. He wasn't throwing as much punches. Like, you know, he got on his bike and he was running. It wasn't no boxing. He was just running. Caught, you know, you talk about uh, Shakur Stevenson. That's that's what Ryan Ryan <laughs> Ryan was doing his Shakur Stevenson that 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 that, that sixth and seventh round. Man, he was running. You know, you know, he went back to the corner, sat down. He was getting tired, and that's what the look look on his face. The the look on his face looked like he was getting tired, man, and possibly he could be in trouble. You know, with a, a more experienced fighter, with a more better fighter, he, Ron could have been in some serious trouble, man. But uh, that seventh round, Ryan running again. He running again on his bike. So you could have gave Durante like the fifth, sixth, and seventh round. You know, a lot of people did. You know. Um and then the eighth. Because first of all, Ryan wasn't throwing no body shots. You know, Ryan seemed very tense in there. You know, he seemed you know, he was throwing some good head shots. He never threw any good body shots though. Throwing some good head hooks. Uh, I ain't see too many straight, straights, straight arm shots. No straight rights and no. I ain't see too many straight rights and left. I saw a lot of, you know, hooks to the head, a side of the head, and stuff like that. Never saw. I saw some. You know, he was throwing some uppercuts too. Throwing some good uppercuts. Um. But I never saw any good body shots landing. Like it's like he was scared to go to the body for some reason. Um, you know, it seemed like this was a Ryan made this guy seem more harder than he was. You know, leading up to the fight, Ryan seemed like Ryan was saying, you know, they trying to set him up to lose. Like this guy was. T a real tough opponent for him you know he, he, they was claiming Oscar was trying to set him up you know 
the word was Oscar was, uh, was trying to set him up to lose, putting him in, putting him in with this guy. The thing was, this guy was a hard pun- puncher, and Ryan seemed nervous of getting hurt by this puncher. That's what it stemmed from. It seemed Ryan seemed nervous that he was going to get hurt by this guy. He was going to get hurt to the body by this guy. And and it seemed like Ryan didn't have didn't have the confidence or he had to you know he had to um, gather up he had to harness up some confidence and some and some uh some willpower to get to get through yes he did and he did get got he and he got through he got through you know with his left hook that fast left hook uh, with moving around, that moving around paid off in the eighth, and he caught him with that that left hook and hurt him. As he do a lot of it, uh, as he do uh, a lot of his opponents, he fought. He hurt him with that left hook, as he did with this guy. Hurt him, ran ran around, caught the guy with that left, hurt him. Ryan jumped on it, got him out of there. You know what I'm saying? And that was good because, you know, that guy was making a comeback. The momentum was on that, that was with that guy, Derete. He was making the comeback. And, uh, yeah, Ryan sealed the deal. Thank God, man, because I was rooting for Ryan. He deserved it. And uh, he called out Roller Romero. That that would be a good fight. That'd be a great. That's a fifty-fifty fight too. I got Ryan winning that though. That'd be a good fight though. That's a good fight. Ryan can knock Roly out. Roly strong. But Ryan, like he was very awkward tonight, man. With that moving, he don't seem like he don't know how to move and jab, move and jab, stick and jab, stick and jab. While you're moving, you gotta throw that jab out there. You know what I'm saying? Like a uh, Tommy Hearns. Throw that jab out there while you're moving. Just don't be running around the ring trying to dodge punches. You know? But, man, I'm I'm, I'm proud. I'm very proud of Ryan. Roley need a damn fight again. You know? Roley need a damn Roley, that'll be a good fight for Ryan. Ryan has confidence. Ryan got... Ryan is confident he can beat Roley, so... I don't mind Ryan fighting Roley. Oh, and also, Ryan is a champion. Ryan became a champion tonight. Yep, he beat that guy. He's now what the WBO? I don't know. He got some. He got a belt. I give him that. He got a belt. He's now a champion. I think it's the WBO belt. And I'm proud of Ryan, man. I'm a Ryan fan now, bro. Uh, I'm rooting for Ryan to win. You know. To just be where he want to be in life, man. That's it. From zero to... From... This big, big facts. Peace.